They're going to be changing out this to the digital deadbolt. I've locked myself out before because we lock this and uh, then I go to the backyard, do some chores, and I get locked out. So this is going to prevent that. And then also going to change this out to a circle round knob type because one of my dogs, and she's taught the others, they know how to open the door from the outside to get in. So I'm going to change out both here and uh, going to do some quick instructions for you on how to install this digital deadbolt. So here's everything that's included once you unbox it. And these are the instructions for drilling if you don't already have a deadbolt, which I do. So I won't need this, but as you can see, these are not instructions. These are just a template to drill a hole and size everything up correctly. Um, no instructions, but there is this QR code which I scanned and it goes to a site that has a YouTube video and the full set of instructions including how to program it. Um, I've already watched the video. I fully understand to do, how to do this and pretty handy. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of pointers that I saw. Uh, I'm also going to include the, the link to the video so you don't have to scan this QR code. One of the things the video does not show you is how to take this off to put the batteries in. And I will tell you, do not put the batteries in until this is mounted. It does warn you to not do that, so I'm not going to do that and try to program it first. Uh, with these systems, you should use regular alkaline batteries that are not rechargeable. Um, they last longer. I, I know I have a, a, a name brand one that also says to do the same thing. So, But back to this. Um, I could not figure out how to get this off, but uh, in looking at it, there's a, you see that little notch? Let's see if I can get to it. Little notch here. You see that? You stick your finger in that, and you can get that pried open, and then I pried along the sides here until it, it popped off. I thought I was going to break it off, but um, got a screwdriver here. Pop this side off, pop this side off and then it, it completely popped off and no damage so it the pins are still there intact but um, that's what you're trying to do is get these two unclipped and so just peel in from both sides and um, I'll get back to you on uh, the installation here but those are some pointers okay got the deadbolt part installed and you want to install it where the bottom is down. You could flip this over and install with this, or this would be on top. And if you read the writing on here, you could see that if you flip it the other way, the writing will be upside down. So then you just stick this in your hole there and run the cord through. Now, it won't stay on because it's got a bolt on from this side. So I'm going to go install that side and then get it attached. Okay, this plate goes on next, and you can see it says this side against the door. So we're going to mount this to the door, and that's what attaches the inside deadbolt portion. So I'll get that done. Get right back at you. Okay, got it installed. Also got the door knob on, as you can see. Make sure you feed it through this hole here. There is a Another hole here, but that has to have the pin come through, which is going to connect to the back of the lock. Uh, word of caution, don't over tighten one of these first because then it gets this um, crooked and it uh, won't line up your second one. I made that mistake. So get them just piloted on each side where you get a little bit of the screw into each one. And then go in farther and farther, and then make sure you got this even with the door, because this also can move, and so can the other side. So you want to level those up. All right, I'm going to get the back side of this on and programmed. Okay, got the back pin connected here, and this is going to communicate with it. And you want to have this in the up position before you mount it three screws one two and then the third one down here at the bottom go in here and there 
It's these little screws. So let me get that done. Okay, it's installed now. These two screws here are not as, they're not set in as deep. So this screwdriver got them. Um, but when I went to go on this one, it is set much deeper. You can see because this, this is recessed here and uh, this wouldn't get it. So I had to get this screwdriver right here, which got in longer. So it is fully mounted and you can see it, it is functioning now. First time, um, the motor was set to the up position, so it was a little harder to turn it. But now that I'm there, I can go and get the batteries on and start the programming process, put the lid back on. Man, this was an easy install. Okay, before you put the last battery in, there's a reset button that you hold a pin in and hold it. Put the last battery in while you keep holding that reset button until you hear a beep. Then uh, you'll see this thing lock you know, and then it's reset. And then you want to go out to this pad and you want to hit one, two, three, four. It's this one. It's on the website, but you're going to hit this button twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit it again. That puts it into reset mode. Then you press one and wait till the green light turns on. That's to change your master pin code. I was just going to leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and try to add a user, but it wouldn't let me do that. So you have to change the master code to your pin code. Um, I'm just going to use the master because it's basically just me. So I left the master. I'm not adding any other codes, but uh, on that link that's in my review, it has programming instructions because I just kind of went through that real fast, but very happy with it. Turned out great and uh, definitely recommend this.